with Outback Customs in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. Today we're super excited to uh, present to you our brand new line of custom motor coaches, 1492 Coachworks. This is about a uh, five year long project for us going back from just initial thinking, man there's got to be a better way. We had done some interiors and kind of uh, some existing boxes and other guys shells and stuff like that. And, we just really were like, there is a better way. And just having a chance to talk with customers, uh, kind of hear the, what they like, dislike, all that kind of stuff. Taking in any kind of service work that we could get our hands on, all that stuff, just to see what's going on, learn everything we can learn. Uh, building, uh, I think it was about nine, nine or 10 total uh, uh, interiors on these. All of that brought us down to about nine months ago, we finally decided now was a good time to go ahead and put this together. So behind us is the prototype, our first ever completely fabricated from the chassis up. The uh, quick version of this chassis is this is a 2006 chassis. I actually bought this truck. It was had a, uh, a company that had gone out of business but really did uh, what we thought was a really right job on the interior, built it all aluminum and a lot of stuff. We kind of wanted to reverse engineer it. Had a ton of water damage on the um, interior, so we knew it needed gutted anyway. Um, and when we got it gutted out, there was so much damage uh, inside that it just wasn't worth salvaging. So this became our prototype chassis. We've got multiple units in process right now. The biggest thing that I want to kind of stress through this whole deal is 1492 Coachworks We've made such an emphasis on the actual shell, on the body, on the doors, all the stuff. I mean, a lot of people can do pretty interiors, paint, interiors, design, all that stuff. That's so much beauty in the eye of the beholder. And there's so much attention that's paid to that. And it seemed to me and to us and our design and engineering team like the, the actual guts of what of, of what the unit is and what really matters, what will make longevity and resale value and all those things on this are just sort of largely overlooked and glossed over and kind of prettied up, you know, the old saying lipstick on a pig kind of deal. So we've kind of gone the reverse, reverse approach. So there's three series of videos that we'll do on this. This will be the outside one where we'll talk about the bays and the doors and all that. There, there's also an interior video and the main one that we'll uh, put out there is a real kind of shorter one on the actual fabrication. So you see the shell, the framing mem uh, members, all that stuff, what we've done to fully fabricate this all aluminum shell. I really firmly believe there's nothing out there like it. The first thing I want to talk about on the outside of our coach is the slide outs. Uh, again, uh, we talk about it in the, uh, in the uh, fabrication uh, video, but we're using HWH mechanisms. We've flushed them into the side of the coach, all the way around, everything's flushed in. It kind of, I really like the look of it. I think it's an upgraded look, uh, makes for a much better, but far more important than that to me, when you don't flush in, when you kind of overlap, which is certainly substantially less work and uh, uh, easier to do, it's a lot more forgiving when you just overlap, it gives an opportunity for rain and wind and dust and dirt and everything to drive in. It's more prone to leak. It creates additional wind noise, all that stuff going down the highway. Doing this, basically, everything just kind of shoots by. Not only is it a cleaner look, but it's cleaner on the air, everything like that. Water stays out of it. Um, thermal pane windows are standard. Uh, huge difference between single pane and thermal pane. That's the only way to go. They stay dry. They stay cool, cool in the summer and, and warm in the winter. Um, so thermal pane windows, we're using a, uh, a sweep at the top instead of an awning. Awnings will, uh, um, slide awnings just when they're out extended for so long, they tend to get ate up by the sun and the wind and all that. I just don't, I think they look a little punky. Kind of our whole design theme is smooth, rounded corners, everything kind of flush. Um, and you, you see that throughout the whole unit. Um, the Girard awning on the top, full 21 foot Girard awning, clean line roof system, ties in at the front with the nose cap and ties in at the rear with the spoiler. We have the option for awnings on both sides, four awnings, all those different configurations are there. And again, um, I want to clarify that the, the Moore family that bought this from when it was originally just the prototype about a month into it, they came along we made a deal 
they bought it. They are using this. They were gracious enough to bring it back for us so we could do the video and all that. So I don't want to open up all these bays, but our underbelly bays, I think we put so much emphasis into making them. The, the, I've heard so many uh, people say almost the exact same thing. One of their main issues with their coaches in years over the years has been the doors that come open going down the road, they fly open. Uh, I've experienced that on the stuff that we've driven and used. So we put huge emphasis on our door. Uh, it's kind of funny and it's a, like a universal truth everybody talks about when you're having that conversation. Now, you know, everybody's got to put their knee into it to make sure, you know, the, uh, the door is closed and on trades and used coaches that come in here, they all have a dent right there. So we don't want that to, uh, be the case on ours so we made our doors I think are the doors and the underbelly bays are, are, are I think better than anybody has done on a Super C motor coach before first off this door is a full uh, three and a half inch thick door we did that because we're using this automotive grade handle with the locking mechanism is in it this is not an RV handle this is not a slam latch this is an automotive handle. In fact, I think on some of the Ram products, it's the exact same handle I've seen on that. Big heavy truck equipment. It's a nice, it has a great feel. It's big, but it's a deeper latch. So our thought, instead of just putting like a plastic cover over the inside of it that gets knocked off, that gets beat up, is gonna break. We're just gonna make the whole thing the door. So this is as rigid as you can get on a door. Two and a half inches thick. It's fully insulated. There's sound deadening in this panel. Um, we have sound deadening throughout this coach, but it's in these. I want them to feel good, sound good. Again, limit road noise. The slam latch, the automotive rotary latch to the striker, which we've actually updated from this prototype. All of this has been updated. It's been updated to a heavier latch, uh, or heavier striker bolt and a heavier latch. Same handle, but upgraded, and it's awesome accessible there's an auto light that you may not be able to tell is on from this but it is very bright um, at night it automatically comes open and then on your firefly system there's a master off when you hit your light master it turns that off so you don't even have to stress out about that being on um, all that shuts down so inch and a half framing on all our bays that's the walls the floor all the way around it's all fully insulated again it's all sound deadened to get it quiet, to have it sound right. It's all, I mean, there's nothing in here that's tinny, that's tingy. It's all super strong, super stout. And then this bay is our Dometic uh, pull-out cooler. Again, we have the slide in, but this slide on this coach extends 30 inches. A lot of times it's the kitchen slide on this side, so it might only be a 20, 24 inch travel. But either way, we wanted to make sure that it comes all the way full of extension. And even when the slide is, open you can get the uh, cooler and get access to everything all those things again simple a lot of people do it some people don't good things to look for we've got different bed liner options um, on the inside if it's if it's a, a, a painted color like a blue or something like that we're gonna paint this to match if it's black we're gonna go black if it's white we're gonna go gray because you don't want white bed liner line but it's all sprayed on bed liner on the inside easy to clean very durable and again the door shut like the car door it is shut it is perfect they don't rattle they don't move around they seal good um, we've tied in again we talked about it in the fabrication video where you can kind of see some of the radius corners like this is a metal heavy wall frame all fully welded i mean bottom rail drag it across the ground it doesn't get damaged it's really durable it's not something that you'll see flopping around going down the road there's not plywood there's no plywood in any of all this stuff i've seen that on countless uh, coaches i cannot believe they put plywood inside doors like we have fixed numerous coaches that have plywood doors on them metal lining water gets in there and the whole door just goes to garbage not gonna happen inside our door it's kind of hidden in here but we've got a stainless steel five inch stainless steel hinge designed ours uh, 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 half inch bolt on the inside again we designed that and built that it's not a hinge we buy off the shelf it's heavy duty like the entire theme um, 
course, everywhere is LED lights throughout all the running lights, clearance lights, porch lights, everything like that is obviously all LED light. And again, you can have some input in that. You don't want, if you don't want bullet lights, you'd rather have an oval light. All those things we kind of will listen and do our best to accommodate. Okay, on our entry door, we went with the upgraded door, uh, the straight out step, not the cantilever down. As you can see here, um, I'm about 265 pound fat guy, and this step is extremely solid. It's the best step on the market until you upgrade a crazy hydraulic stuff that doesn't really work too well in this application. Screen door has glass on the insert, so when it comes over, and the uh, uh, screen door also has, you can see the, the mesh, the metal mesh put in behind here, behind your screen that way. You know, your dog, your kid, whatever, doesn't push it out. Again, glass, real glass on this slider, uh, handle cover, and everything, again, in keeping with the theme, nice and solid. Uh, keyless entry on this coach across the board. You put your code in here. You type two and it'll lock all the bays. You type uh, three and it'll just unlock the entry door um, on it. I like that feature that way, you know, obviously no keys. You have everything, you know, hands free, you touch it. You can open it with your phone. It's tied into your system. And I really like the fact that you can unlock the entry door and not unlock all your bays so you don't have to worry about anything on the other side. You know, if you're in that rough neighborhood. Uh, uh, the uh, outside outlet, um, obviously everything GFI protected. Up above is the, uh, the the two side lights are the porch light. The middle light is one of six lights, excuse me, eight lights. There's three per side and two on the back um, that are part of our 360 security lighting. Awesome work lighting if you're loading, if you're camping, if you're backing in, setting up, pulling down, reach up while you're driving, turn the security lighting button on everything all the way around the outside of your coach is lit up. It, you, you can do it from your bed, you can do it while you're driving, so it has a ton of features. I like this docking light also. There's a button right beside your steering wheel where you can turn this on manually, and it's also tied in with your reverse light so you kick it up. You have great lighting to see as you're backing up. Um, all our skin, our sheeting on the outside is butted, it's smooth jointed on this coach. Uh, again, Per the uh, customer's request, we did a wrap. Um, they wanted to we'll have some footage of their paired trailer together. They wanted a whole matching rig. Um, so we went wrap on this. So this is wrap. If it's paint, this is all smooth skin. You don't see this finish. Uh, we're saying, again, we have to put something on it. It's mill finished aluminum uh, because it's a fully fabricated uh, and 080 sheet. So it's gonna be paint as standard single color paint, and we can do a wrap uh, also on it. The fender well, we actually put this trim on it, just kind of keeping with the sort of sinister vibe and kind of muted out vibe of this. But this whole fender well, all this panel, everything's solid, but it's unboltable. So if there's a blowout, we can send you a new panel. It can come here, it's easy to fix, because um, those things do happen. So again, throughout our entire build, by no means am I going to accept issues or that's going to or predict it or plan for it, but we want to just make everything as serviceable because things do happen. Um, we, and and it's, it's best for you, the customer, if it's serviceable, accessible, costs you less money down the road, all that stuff, less frustration. So that's the design theme throughout of this whole coach. Now again, I don't want to open up all these bays uh, because the, the Moors are using it and they have some of their stuff in it. Uh, but. This one's kind of pretty cool. It we did for them, their late model dirt uh, race folks. So dirt everywhere. We put in the road wave uh, pressure washer system. It has deionized water that you can turn on or off, spot free rinse, that's awesome. Has the cord reel on, or the hose reel, excuse me, on it. Uh, we put in the uh, built-in, it has a drain at the bottom of it, a uh, tube that this goes into for storage because it doesn't come with that. So we put all that in for them. There's enough hose to get all the way to the entire truck. We also did a mounting bracket for 
the different pressure uh, washer accessories. All those kind of things, like we're making every effort, every coach is going to get better as we become more aware and listen to our customers, all that stuff. Like all these user friendly things, like these have all come from conversations and just stuff where we're just trying to pay attention to the detail. But conversations with people, like we listen, we truly are going to listen to what you're looking for. But again, this bay is a little more open than the other one, the big inch and a half frame tubing structural tubing this is all welded you can see the welds here this frame this is all solid everything is just overbuilt the floor i didn't talk about it earlier but all of our bays um, have access panels in the roof of them so if we ever need to get in here get access to anything we literally it's serviceable again serviceable is the theme here we are at the back of the coach there's a couple of really uh, nice features that i want to point out back here First, starting up at the top, we have the spoiler that ties into the, the uh, Gerard awnings on the side of the coach or the, the faux case to make the clean line roof system. Um, it does add some aerodynamics and I like the look of it. I think it's pretty cool. Um, the lighting, uh, running lights and tail lights on this, super bright, big 24 inch bar. I like them all the way up at the top. I get stressed out when I've just got lights down here that I feel like people can't see me if you're on the side of the road, have your hazards on. Uh, if you got a small car or a shorter trailer behind you, those things really, I mean, to me, a great peace of mind. You can see they've got the integrated uh, backup light on them. All that ties in with your load lights when you kick that on or your docking lights, excuse me. They, all that kicks on. Super good light. You also have, of course, this has the rear door on it. We'll talk about that in a second. But the porch light beside there, but then the two side lights, the bigger lights are your 360 part of your 360 security lighting. Again, you can turn it on in the cab, by your beds, all that stuff. You see everything, hey, they are bright. Light up the night, it's an awesome feature. I love that. The door, um, we don't, we're, we're able to do a door. Again, it all has to tie out into the layout inside. If you want a door here, they have a front platform, uh, front entry trailer that they use. They asked for this door to be added. We thought that was a great idea. We are able to do all that because we do not use a fiberglass rear cap. I completely agree that a fiberglass rear cap has a really good look. Like I like the look. I think it's a good upgraded look. But my question is, and, and I've done it, go do it. Go up to the back, push on the back of one. That whole thing sits there and vibrates going down the road. It creates noise. It, they're, they're prone to crack. If it gets hit, it's a big repair. You've got metal panels down at the bottom that are easily repaired. It also allows us to add windows, add doors, do all those things, no problem. Again, we don't want to be a company of no, we want to be a company of yes and accommodate our customers. So this door specifically opens up into the uh, back, sorry, it's locked, but down below it normally and it would be a slightly different looking door, like a recessed flushed in door. Typically, this door um, won't look like this, but it opens to what I really like. I, I think it's a unique option. This would be a full storage bay, over six foot long storage bay for your long, you know, lawn furniture, rugs, flags, any of that stuff goes in there, fishing poles, any of that. So big bay, typically, that's our standard setup is a rear storage bay that's kind of unique to us. In this setup, we were able to split it, still give them some storage, but also add in this step that we custom made, custom designed, and again, it comes down right down onto the platform of their trailer, so they go straight into their trailer. Again, I'm not sure how many people would do that, but I like that option and it makes good sense to me. Rear outlet, just 120 volt, plug it in, we're going to do that by most of your entry doors, just in case you want to plug something in. The uh, Voyager camera system for the trailer connections, the seven-way RV, seven-way semi, round is all standard, and of course your glad hands. 50 amp buddy plug is optioned up on this coach. You can do a 30 or a 50 amp buddy plug. Most of the time it'll be a 50 amp that people want. But again, all fully fabricated, smooth, clean look the rounded corners tying in to the spoiler i just think it's a really good look and gives us you know a lot of stoutness back here it's strong these coaches take a lot of torque and we're able to tie this whole thing in especially when you're pulling your big stacker trailer that's so important 
Um, the heavy duty of the hitch, we'll show some of that stuff in the future. We'll show you how we design our hitch system. It's different than anybody else's. It's truly, when they say a 40,000 pound hitch, you would be frightened if you saw what most of the hitch setup is. This is truly a 40 pound, a 40,000 pound hitch capacity. When you upgrade to the Kingpin, mini Kingpin versus the ball, we rated it 20,000 with the ball. So again, a lot of thought put into that. It's not a rear cap, it's a fabricated rear rear end, but I, it gives us so much flexibility and again, has a really good clean look to it. Both of these doors are combined to make up our wet bay. Um, again, like I said, it's one of our signature bays. Um, all of the controls, we're running uh, a manifold system down there, but you've got all your controls here, main shutoffs, all that stuff, winterizing bypasses, your wet bay touch screen for your hydronic. You can operate the entire coach from this screen just like you can all the other screens. Um, makes it so convenient to be able to know where your water levels are, uh, turn your water pump on, any of that stuff if you need water. We have a hot and cold, so you can get hot and cold house water out of this for just a garden hose, fill up a bucket, you know, rinse the kids off, any of that stuff. That's my situation, rinse the kids off. Um, in here, this access flips up and it's just access basically covering like your easy valves, your electric uh, dump valves are in there. There's a manual override, again, redundancy trying to be built in. Flipping that up, you get easy access to those in that bay. So just a really clean uh, bay. The holding tanks are behind there. You have 72, 72 gallon a piece waste tanks on this. We have an option for a third tank that goes in the upper section, this portion of the opposite bay over there. These bays go all the way underneath the frame. It's a fully heated, this entire compartment is heated. Um, so there's no worry about freeze. So it's a full, true full season. That's standard. We're doing heated wet bays on everything. I just think it makes sense. You're in this price level of a coach. That's the way it should be. It's the right way to do it. Um, over here on this side is same thing. Another easy valve under here, flip up door. But all these valves is part of our manifold system. So if Let's just say your water uh, or your, your toilet um, goes bad, breaks the valve, something like that. You can shut that off and isolate that and leave everything else running, not ruin your week, your trip, and come back and get all that service. Everything in here is dedicated. And the main thing, or another key factor of that that I really, really like is everything, all your water lines in this coach go from this point to the actual fixture itself. So from this point, to the connection on the faucet. It is one piece hose all the way through. There's no connections anywhere. And if you know anything about PEX line, which is what we're running is a PEX line, PEX line is virtually impervious to any kind of freezing. It's incredibly bulletproof. What breaks if it were to freeze, if you were to set this coach out, everything's shut off, you forgot about something, your fittings, your fittings are what usually fail. And the fact that your fittings are isolated, there's no built-in, we're not teeing off, all that stuff. It eliminates so many connection points, so many leak points, and really isolates any potential issue to either at the fixture or at this. I love that feature of it. Um, just to, again, serviceability throughout. And all those access points that I've talked about in the, underneath the frame, in the trough, in the access panels up here, and all the wet bay, or the bays, all of that stuff is if, if there was an event that we needed to, to replace a wire, to replace a hose, uh, a water line, um, a hydronic line, any of that stuff, we can do all that stuff and get it throughout. It's incredibly serviceable. Here we are at the generator bay. A uh, couple things I want to point out about our generator uh, bay and specifically the location of it. We, we like the generator to be in front of the axle. Um, the rear axles because it just picks up less uh, less road grime, less dirt, dust, all that stuff. Especially if you have it running while you're going down a gravel road or something like that. Um, it'll clog your filters in a heartbeat when it's behind the axle. This is the logical place. It's closer to the fuel tanks, all that stuff. I mean, longer fuel lines, restrict flow. You got to go bigger size. It's just, you know, uh, more potential for problem. So putting it here in this location, is our preferred location for it and kind of our standard location. This bay itself is has automotive grade sound deadener on the bottom side. Um, it's it's a product called Hush Mat. It's a eighth inch thick, you know, tar, heavy, heavy sound deadener on it. And then a sound deadener coating on the top side that we'll talk about on the fabrication video and on the inside. 
We mount our generators on the isolator platform, makes it quiet. This is a 12K, we're standard with an 8K, upgrade to a 10 or a 12, most are gonna be in, that, uh, 12, in this 12K zone. We also have a really cool option that we can do on most floor plans, not every single floor plan because it has to do with the configuration that we work out. But most of the time we can accommodate where we can actually duct and chimney up the exhaust for this and your uh, hydronic system up to the roof. Uh, the advantage of that is um, some campgrounds, uh, national parks, things like that, you can't run your generator or your hydronic for that matter unless you do the, uh, the genturi that's mounted hanging on the side, basically have to have it ducted above the roof line, the exhaust fumes. When that's integrated in, it allows it to um, just you don't have to go put the genturi. I think it's ugly. It's you know bracketry on the side of your trailer or your coach. It's kind of a pain in the butt. When we built that chimney in, it's just there all the time, and it's better. I mean, when you're sitting camping, any of that stuff, using your coach, whether you have to have your genturi or not, it's really nice um, to just have the fumes get up and out of the way. Uh, it also changes the volume of it, quiets it down. So putting it here in this location allows for more flexibility for that. Again, we don't have preset floor plans. We don't have that designed in, but we can talk through that. If that's something that you want to add as an option, we'll keep that in mind through the whole design process. Again, we like the location here. I'll talk real quick about our generator. It's a commercial grade generator. Has its own built-in charging system on it. Is the biggest advantage of going to this, and you have a dedicated start battery. Battery. So you have your two chassis batteries, your chassis batteries that'll start your engine. You have your coach batteries that your coach will run on. And if all those goes dead, you should always be able to start your generator, get your system charged back up, and not be stranded. Let's move on to the hydronic bay. All right, the uh, hydronic. Uh, and this unit has an Oasis. We can do Oasis or Aqua Hot. Uh, Oasis 650 is typically. This has got the 80,000 BTU. NES Oasis, an awesome system. It's certainly the top of the line unit on here uh, are, are available out there. Nothing, you know, too crazy about this bay, except that we've left ample room. There's there are serviceability and service access points, and you've got access to the sides. There's uh, controls, there's buttons, resets, all that over here. So we've left a lot of room for the serviceability of it. Again, in keeping with our theme, it needs to be serviceable. Um, I, can't, I want to remind again, say, remind again, all of the bays, these bays, the bays on the other side, they're all auto lights. Um, so when you open it, the light comes on, and then that switch, I don't know if you can see that light, but there is a switch on it. So if you need to, for whatever reason, want to leave a bay open, say, on the other side for your cooler, you don't have to have that light on. You can flip that light off on the switch. And again, those are some of the thought that we're trying to put into it and for, come from conversations with customers and we'll always continue to improve that. Our goal is to make the next coach better than the last coach, just like it is with our horse trailer product lines, our van product lines, our commercial stuff. We always want to be improving. That's our goal. Let's move on to the uh, inverter bay. All right, now on our uh, inverter bay, um, Inverter, this is a single inverter unit. Uh, we have coaches coming up with dual inverter. We'll talk about those when the time gets. I think it's a really cool option. Helps you minimize generator runtime. We have options for second alternators, additional alternators on truck uh, that just feeds directly to your coach battery. So going down the road, you can run two ACs, no problem. It's really cool stuff that's coming out. It's really an advance in the industry that we want to kind of be on the leading edge of. People are doing it out there and I think it makes all the sense in the world. Why would you have to run your generator going down the road? Or why would you want to run your generator going down the road if you don't have to? But 3000 watt inverter on this side. We also have your central vac. Again, we're putting panels in to try and make it accessible but cover up some of the stuff. I like the inner vac. Uh, VAC system. It seems to work uh, the best that we've been able to find so far. You've got your port on this side where you can come out here and plug your hose in, vacuum out, you know, your car, your toy, whatever it may be. Uh, stroller, again in my situation, <laughs> all that stuff. But bed liner bay, um, auto lights, all the stuff that, again, reminder, three and a half inch thick door. It's the heaviest duty door in the industry. And just for a reference, because 
so you see this generally will be the closest bay to the it's going to normally on the driver's side as a standard setup it's going to go to the battery bay that we'll show you here in a second battery bay inverter bay hydronic bay then the generator bay all in front of the axle and then behind that will be the wet bay and then the cord reel bay going down the driver's side of the coach all right here we are at the uh, battery bay couple things we want to point out for sure on this there's AD AGM batteries or gel batteries on this we have a hybrid inverter so you can upgrade this to lithium I think lithium is a great option but it's a very costly option it's something that you can buy this upgrade in the future or we can do it however you want it chassis start batteries are up here again all separated but tied together engine will recharge the coach batteries and then dedicated start battery for the generator is behind here um, all our again our redundancy in our system is the slide manual overrides in case the firefly goes down. That's what these are all doing. Your uh, our, our keyless entry system, your key fob system, powered locks for all the bays and entry doors. That's all controlled through this. This is a cool feature. There's also a solar charger and solar system for the uh, for the chassis bat or for the coach batteries. This one is a dedicated system for the chassis batteries. Always keeps them topped up. So if it's sitting out, even if it's in your barn, your lights will add charge to that and keeps everything topped off. And then this is the fuse panel for everything kind of outside. So any of your base stuff, all that stuff, it's all out here. Again, just to try to make it easy as serviceable, even though there's a lot going on, a lot of wiring, all that stuff, serviceability is the name of the game. And that's the last bay on the driver's side. We can also do like different cab configurations. I think that's another unique thing about having a fabricated nose uh, on the cab over portion that we're doing versus like a fiberglass fixed cap or an, you know, an either or setup where you either have to have it that way or you have to have it a bunk bed like we talked about and showed in this coach. It's got our convertible cab over uh, portion where it can be a full walkout with storage or it can be a bunk, it can be both. Um, and we can do that. We can do a fixed, you know, lower cab entrance with a fixed bunk up above. We can do a full walkout with built-in storage cabinet, or we can do the convertible option. All of that's made possible by doing the fabricated nose cap versus fiberglass. Plus, it's just longer. I mean, we've had, we just had a coach that came in. Was really it was a 2017, a relatively new coach, very low mileage, leaking like a sieve all across. I mean, it was ruining the entire interior, all at the cab over portion. So, I really don't like pairing metal and fiberglass. There's so much torque that goes on that. So, I believe in this is the best route to go, and it just gives us a ton of flexibility in our designs. So, thanks for watching. Um, please feel free to check us out um, at 1482 Coachworks on Instagram and Facebook. Uh, our YouTube channel, all this stuff, obviously, you're probably watching on YouTube, but we're beginning to build up more and more. We've got a ton of stuff coming. Um, call us anytime, 405-745-6666 is the office number. Um, our website, uh, 1492coachworks.com. Um, we'd love any and all input. Um, it, just let us know what you think of what we're doing. We'll love your comments, the direction, advice, input. We're all about it. So thanks for watching. Have a great day.